The current bilateral relationship between Indonesia and Australia is a strong one and is built on a strong foundation between the two nations, allowing various political endeavours as well as free flow of both information and trade between the two countries. Kedua negara membutuhkan uh, satu sama lain di berbagai sektor dari defense, education, cultural exchange sampai dengan trade dan investment. Di bidang ekonomi, Indonesia dan Australia mempunyai volume investasi dan trade yang cukup besar namun belum maksimal. Indonesia dan Australia bisa menjadi complementary partner. Indonesia adalah pasar yang sangat besar bagi Australia. Di sisi lain, Australia sebagai negara maju bisa menyediakan asistensi terhadap pembangunan infrastruktur, digital economy, telekomunikasi, dan yang lainnya. I feel that there's really good exchange opportunities offered by the government, such as the New Combo Plan Scholarship as well as the Australia Award Scholarship. The students at a younger age are able to then share information, understand the cultures, and this opens up a great opportunity for further development, whether it's business relationships, as well as making a greater connection between the people of each country. I think there's huge potential for the youth of today in both countries because they're not bound by the norms and perhaps preconceptions that bound earlier generations. This is especially important when it comes to not only strengthening existing institutional and personal relationships, but I think it's incredibly important when it comes to fostering new ones. Pemuda itu memiliki peran yang besar. In the future, they will be the agent of change. Sebisa mungkin kita mengenalkan mereka terhadap isu-isu bilateral Indonesia dan Australia agar kelak waktu mereka menjadi policy makers mereka bisa merepresentasikan hubungan yang lebih baik antara Indonesia dan Australia. I'm going to talk about uh, new digital data sources in Indonesia um, and the rise of technology and how it's been used in, in uh, government sense making. The youth in Indonesia are really early adopters of new technologies and what we're doing is trying to help the government make sense of all of this data that's coming out. I think that's really important for everyone here to know that the government is increasingly using um, these social networks and this new digital data um, to really help shape policy making. Saya akan memberikan wawasan bagaimana uh, potensi ekonomi kreatif bisa menjadi tulang punggung perekonomian nasional di masa yang akan datang. Dengan adanya era digital, era internet ini, marketplace memerlukan produk-produk yang terus uh, bisa digali dan dikembangkan dari berbagai pelosok daerah di Indonesia. Kami tentunya ingin agar mereka memiliki wawasan tentang potensi ekonomi kreatif dan tidak lagi hanya mengandalkan kepada komunitas-komunitas yang selama ini selalu menjadi andalan Indonesia. Saya akan bicara mengenai emerging opportunities to tighten economic ties antara Indonesia dan Australia. Saya inginkan agar para hadirin itu turut berpikir bagaimana kita bisa meningkatkan hubungan bilateral antara kedua bangsa dan negara ini.